Hey, what's up guys? BossX7 here with another Gnome Suit tutorial, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make trenches. Now this should be pretty easy, and uh, let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, these trenches were made out of tunnels, and so this makes it completely stock no limits too. So it should be simple for you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and unfreeze it and show you guys how it was made. So let's go ahead and unfreeze it here, and you can see that there was no modification to the terrain whatsoever. And to start off, go ahead and go to your terrain settings, and you need to set the height. Alright, so go ahead and click set height. And the reason why you have to do this is because under three feet here, that's when water will start showing up. So you, you don't want that. So you want to have the water level a little bit lower. So you can see here, if I go down here to a certain point, you'll see that the screen turns black right here. So that's when I hit water. So it's right below the trench. That's when there's water. So let's go ahead and just make sure you set the height a little bit higher. Uh, I'd say about 13 feet should be good. So let's go ahead and add a one to this end and you're set. All right, so next I'm gonna go through the settings of the track here that I used. So it's gonna go on top here real quick. Now your coaster is gonna be right in between here. So you're gonna want to have these two, about two squares away from the coaster. So the coaster track should fit right in here. And these two inner ones, you're gonna to wanna to set these to invisible track and virtual. And same with this one. You're gonna set this to invisible track and virtual. Now what the virtual does, is basically delete the terrain and make it uh, see-through without actually modifying the terrain or having a tunnel visible. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna highlight the segment right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move it right over here. All right, so the segment's over here. Now when I go to perspective and we look at segment, and this actually has the virtual tunnel on it. So you'll see what that does when I freeze it. And here you can see it just cuts a piece out of the terrain uh, nice and cleanly you can see there's some spikes here i'm not sure what causes that but there is no way to fix that at the moment um you can see the other tunnels down there so i want to go ahead and unfreeze here and place this back all right so that was this inner one here so all four of these on the top we go ahead and make them virtual and invisible segment so you can make this as wide as you want that just kind of defines the width of the trench so you can go ahead and keep adding more and more and more and then you should be set there and then the cool thing about making this as out of the track here is that you can just add vertices and curve it uh, exactly to the track really and uh, make any kind of shape you want with the trenches. Alright, the next step we're going to be making the size of the trench here. So let's go to perspective and you can see underground here we have four different uh, segments of track here. And these settings are non-invisible or visible, it doesn't matter. And make the tunnel rectangular concrete. Now. That, does, that just basically makes the sides, and same with the bottom down here, make it rectangular concrete. Alright, so when you make these segments here, you're going to want to uh, adjust them to length. So you can see that these cross ones are overlapping just a little bit, because if you can imagine a box around this, you can see that uh, it will actually pass this up a little bit, so you're going to extend these ends. And same here, you can see how this is pushed back a little bit, because if you can imagine a box around this end, you should connect pretty perfectly. All right, and this bottom segment here will determine the depth of the trench. So the lower it is relative to the sidewalls here, the deeper the trench will be and vice versa. You can also add vertices to all of these. So same as you want the track to or the uh, bottom of the trench to have a curve to it. So match the track and go ahead and do that. So you can just look at the side of your, your trench here and just lift up one end here if you want and go and add vertices and have to do a nice little curve right below the track. You can go ahead and do that, which is pretty cool. All right, so for more convenience for you guys, I went ahead and put up a download. So you guys can go ahead and download this trench here. And same way with Sports Senior Pack, go ahead and download it and then go to Extract Package, Extract the Package, and then go ahead and import it to your park. So if I go to Import Coaster here, you'll see BA7 Trench, press Open, press OK, and click on Straight Trench, press OK. And you'll see right over here, we have the trench. And when we freeze it, we have a fully built trench. So this is what both of them look like together in the same park. And if you guys are looking to uh, fix up these discrepancies in the terrain here, you guys can go ahead and go to new coaster and start adding supports to it. So just add four beams, I mean four beam nodes all the way around here. And uh, go ahead and add it, uh, your support beams all the way across. So kind of cover these up. Or you can add some plants around it or all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, yeah, so the download is in the description for you guys to check out. And uh, you guys can use this in all your parks. I might be making a trench pack eventually well, with all kinds of different shapes if you guys want that, of course. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like and uh, subscribe for more. So you find your way back home.